Hey everyone, welcome to Simply Learn's YouTube channel. In this session, we will learn how to add watermarks to our Excel documents. But before we begin, let me tell you guys that we have daily updates on multiple technologies. So, if you are a tech geek in a continuous hunt for latest technological trends, then consider getting subscribed to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit that bell icon to never miss an update from Simply Learn. Now, without further ado, let's get started with our one point agenda that is how to add watermark to Excel. Now, on my sheet, you can see some data. So here we wanted to add some watermark logo to your uh, Excel spreadsheet so that it looks genuine and worked by you, right? So that's the overall idea of adding a watermark. Now go to the insert window and in the insert window, go to the text option, click on that, select header and footer. Once you select header and footer, you can see something on your screen like this. So in this box, which is highlighted by a cursor, is where you're going to add the picture. On my top in the menu bar, you can see header and footer elements. In this, select the picture element and it will navigate to you to a different option window. Since we are adding the image from our local system, select from file or if you are adding from your Bing or any search window, you can also add that or OneDrive as well. But now let's go with from file. It will directly navigate you to the pictures folder in your local system. So here is my Sintelon's logo. Click on it and select insert. Now you can see the image is added in this format, which is ampersand and picture. And you might wonder where is the picture? It is actually present. To view it, click on any cell in the spreadsheet and there you go, you can see it. Now you might be wondering the image is a little towards top and abnormally placed, right? So no worries, you can always, you know, format your picture. Just press enter and use enter to move your picture towards the center of your data spreadsheet. And also there is another option of format picture altogether. Here you can adjust the height and width of your image by, you know, increasing and decreasing width or increasing and decreasing height using the arrow marks also works and apart from this there is another option of picture formatting where you can choose your image to be washing out black and white grayscale or anything so currently i'm going with automatic which will automatically adjust the brightness and you know everything for your image it looks perfectly fine so click on ok and there you go right so now this should be fine right now everything is done and everything is automatically saved if you are having that auto save option on your spreadsheet. And let's go back to the normal view from the header and footer view. Click on the view and go to normal. You might be confused, right? Where is the logo? It vanished. Did I have to save it? No, it's already saved. Everything is fine. Even the image is there, but you cannot see it in normal view. To see it, click on file, click on print, then you can see the logo. It will be present only on the printed pages, not on the normal view. Okay, so that's how you work with uh, watermarks in Excel, and that's how you can add and customize your watermarks using Excel. And with that, we have come to an end of this session on how to add watermarks in Excel. If you have any queries regarding any of the topics covered in this session, or if you require the resources with this session, then please feel free to let us know in the comment section below, and our team of experts will be more than happy to resolve all your queries at the earliest. Until next time. Thank you, stay safe and keep learning. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.